Double clutch to third. No grind, sounding good. Off we go. Welcome back, I'm Tedward, and today we're driving a 1948 Willys Jeep. It's got a 134 cubic inch flathead four cylinder, and obviously it has seen better days, but it's still running, and we've got the really old California plate on it. Now, the CJ2 was a civilian version of the Willys Jeep, which means it got a tailgate, which I probably have tetanus from now, and it also would have had its spare tire mounted right here. Another change for the CJ2 would have been this fuel filler over here on the external part of the car versus inside. This particular vehicle has the original engine and transmission, a miracle. Uh, as far as I can tell, no synchros. It's a dog leg, three speed, so reverse, first, second, third. Got to double clutch a little bit. I'm getting my bearings on that. And to start the vehicle, you turn the key, and this down here is your starter with your foot. It's a little tricky to get it started sometimes. We'll do our best. Under the hood is a little bit magical. Oh, we also have starting to see the classic Jeep front grill. Let's pull this up. And here's this motor. It's actually very clean. It smells a little like fuel, but not too terrifying. And it's rather potent. I mean, obviously there's not a whole lot of power needed to get this rust bucket. It's a lightweight version, obviously, to, to move along, but it does the job. So. We're gonna head over actually to meet up with Matt Farah at Westside Collector Car Storage. And, oh, you know, I gotta be honest, driving this is, um, it's fun while you're driving it. And then the second you get out, you realize like this is really a very, 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 very bad idea. So let's close it up and head a few miles. All right, let's even get this thing started. Use your left foot to add a little throttle. There she is. No crunch in the first, always a good sign. Lots of play in this steering. So ahead of me is David from Bren Scott and Garage 42 and Will Lee from PTSRS. He's got a much safer, more modern vehicle. We've got the Miami Blue Macan GTS. <laughs> I guess people like it even though it's terrifying and wants me dead. No downshifting in a first. You gotta just roll with it. Idle's a little bit high, but the fact that it's idling at all already makes me feel better. There's no, uh, there's no synchros, so to get in a first, they give a faint into... Thank you, thank you. People dig it, that's for sure. I just don't want to die in it. It's one of those things where you gotta be like, you know, I really hope, uh, I really hope this is worth it. Look at all the play in the steering wheel. I mean, that's like literally nothing happening at all. Quite exposed here. Got a double clutch into third or else it's not gonna actually stick in. Gotta hold my hat on. You know, when I drove the Super 7, it blew the hat off at about 55 miles an hour, but there's no windshield here. So I have no hope, no hope. And in LA traffic, 
You're just hoping for the best. I hope this thing survives the drive. We're not going very far. It's definitely not fully legal. I mean, maybe it passes smog or whatever, but there's no windscreen. That's a big problem. You're not supposed to do that. You spend your whole life trying to be safe. You know, you get roll cages and helmets and then we go out and drive this. Don't need the double clutch in the second, but in the third, there it is. Is that rain? Please don't rain. Gonna have to double clutch in a second. There it is. Oh yeah. Not the most graceful, but we're getting the job done. Every damn red light. Perfect car for Los Angeles. Let's see if we can roll it in a second. Come on, come on, come on. Little slip of the clutch. Nice. Well, that's the future right there. And here we are, except one of us is running. Little faint in the reverse to get to first, and that's the way to go, all right. You can see the ground through the floor. Double clutch to third. No grind, sounding good, off we go. Brakes are functional, not incredible though. So it is a little nerve wracking. You want to leave some distance. Got all kinds of good noises going on here. No directionals, gotta use hand signals. Now we are motoring. to stop. Woohoo! Uh, my eyes are watering because I, you know, it, it's got, no, you know, it does not have a speedster vibe. Speedsters feel safe. This, I cannot believe there's something that feels less safe than a speedster. Alva, yeah. Oh, and there's a Range Rover Revoke convertible. Now we're at the kind of speeds that I want to be at. GTS looking pretty good. Woohoo! Brakes work.
Getting better with this double clutching. Okay. I think these were originally made for like agricultural reasons. Or not, I mean, not originally made, but like the, the civilian ones were, were made as like kind of farm pickup trucks. And I mean, it would definitely do the job. This would be the greatest farm truck ever. Obviously in 2021, in modern day traffic, I don't think this is the vibe. <laughs> I don't think this is a safe uh, mode of transportation that you should use regularly, but it'll do it. JF Fugio was talking about how there's skid marks everywhere in LA. He's right, I wasn't really thinking about this until he said that, but now I'm looking around and I'm seeing exactly what he means. There's like sideshows everywhere, it's crazy. I don't know what happened during this pandemic, but it was brutal. All right, here we are at Westside Collector Car Storage. Let's go see what Mr. Farah has to say about the Willys Jeep. Not totally sure where we park. Let's do our best over here. We're gonna go in and see Matt's new storage facility here at West Coast Collector Car Storage. Thank you guys so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Thank you to my friend Mason, who allowed me to drive this outrageous Willys Jeep today, and I'm quite thankful that I only had to drive it a few miles. Don't forget to respect the drive, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you, sir. Nineteen forty-eight. All original. <laughs> original engine, original transmission, three-speed dog leg. It's a weird one. Oh my! It. Yeah, I, I actually I picked it up in shorts and I just went and put some long pants on because I'm like I'm probably gonna get injured in this. You are brave. Yeah, I, you know I thought I was, then I got out of it and I'm like that was really stupid. <laughs> this is this is outrageous. Definitely a treat. Ugh. Wow. You got a double clutch in the third, and any downshift is a double clutch, or else it gives you some shit, but. Oh, <laughs>